In the heart of Adams County lies Limberlost Swamp, a 13,000 acre wetland that serves as a home for migrating birds and diverse plant life. The wetlands were also frequented by hunters and travelers from around the area, whose experiences led to the birth of many myths and legends. There were two, possibly three, limber gyms. The first one took place in the 18 teens. A uh, man named Limber Jim Corbus got lost along a creek south of here. And when he found his way out a, few, a little bit later, everyone talked about how Limber got lost on the creek. So when the government surveyor came and asked what everything was called in this area, when he pointed to the creek on the map and said, what do you call this? Limber Jim said, that's the creek I got lost at. Call it after me. So the surveyor wrote down, and this is in the records, Limber Lost Creek. In the early 1890s, Jean Stratton Porter moved to Geneva, Indiana with her husband and daughter. They built their family cabin on the swamp and she began to venture further into the wetlands, finding solace in the trees, the skies, and nature. Nature can be trusted to work her own miracle in the heart of any man whose daily task keeps him alone among her sights, sounds, and silences. She was not writing at that time, at least not professionally. She might have been writing on her own, but she didn't uh, start writing until a few years after they moved into this house, which was 1895. That's when the construction was completed. And she started writing articles from outdoor magazines, and that was 1900. Her sole purpose through everything she did just about was to bring nature to people so they would understand it and appreciate it and love it. When Freckles and Elnora, the girl of the Limberlost, her two most famous characters, were out there, Jean would be describing uh, the flowers they saw, the animals they saw, the things they were doing, talk about the seasons, the, the cycles, how things interacted with each other. So she was truly uh, educating people while they were enjoying the reading. I write as the birds sing, because I must, and usually from the same source of inspiration. Inspired by the plants and animals living there, Jean Stratton Porter began to write stories telling the history of the local wetlands, describing the beauty of its landscape and rallying conservation efforts. Her most famous novel, A Girl of the Limberlost, put both Porter and her beloved swamp on an international stage. She was definitely a conservationist the time she lived here. The first article she wrote for an outdoor magazine was uh, taking a stand against women using bird feathers in their hats because the slaughter of the birds was tremendous. She wrote uh, other conservation articles and one of her most famous conservation quotes was put into her nature book, Music of the Wild, that she wrote while she lived here. But even as the beauty of the swamp reached readers and visitors alike, growing industry began taking its toll on the vegetation and animal life. Before long, the swamp began to deteriorate. The wetlands were dredged and drained, and the water slowly receded. But Jean Stratton Porter still wrote, still ventured into the landscape, and still worked to raise awareness of the danger that threatened Limberlost. The irony of it is Jean made the Limberlost swamp world famous at the very time it was basically destroyed and gone. And her books were read around the world she sold around 10 million in the 21 years that she was uh, writing books. She was translated to 13 foreign languages in Braille. And so she truly has fans from around the world. We've had visitors from Australia. We've had visitors from New Zealand. There are places around the world, like on the island of Tasmania, there's a dairy called the Limberlost Dairy. Anywhere in the world the name Limberlost is, it's because Jean Stratton Porter's works spread it there. Jean Stratton Porter wrote a total of 26 books. At their peak, her novels attracted an estimated 50 million readers worldwide, and these writings would inspire future travelers and communities to continue her legacy and her love for nature and Limberlost Swamp. Every intoxicating delight of early spring was in the air. The breeze that fanned her cheek was laden with subtle perfume and the crisp, fresh odor of unfolding leaves. <laughs>